engine. Slowly. Yes, oh my god. Oh my Please stop. Oh my Hi, I'm Adam C, and welcome back to everyone's favourite puddle, Rufford Ford, which is a lot shallower than it normally would be because some of the locals have dredged the banks further down the stream so it flows a lot quicker. We've had a lot of rainfall before today, and yet it's still just under a foot. But I'm here to capture scenes and see if this still causes issues with the cars that try and go through. It's a full day here, nine to five. Let's see what we can capture. Is the first to wade through. People are still nervous of it, even though it's only about half a foot deep. I think he's the most nervous I've seen for quite a while. There we go, he's in. He is not setting himself up for a royal fail, not today. And nor is the Hyundai, although they've forgotten which side of the road you normally drive on in the UK. This is the first. There's a fire engine that's turned up. Are we going to get a bail from the fire engine? I can tell you there's no fire and there's plenty of water if there is. The dogs are having fun. Should we ask them to fill it up a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> and in the graveyard today we have a front end from a Toyota. Could be a Hilux. That is camo green. I think it's paint. That's fallen off. Rogers of Plymouth. And there's a metal plate there and there's a car coming. Ah, a Ford Ranger to make his first debut of the day. Splashing. The trans is going to make the biggest splash of the day. <laughs> yeah, that, that got my ankles and, and shoe. It's just vans today. Getting us wet. We're getting a slow attempt from a Porsche KM. They're being cautious to the very shallow waters in their SUV. Well, it counts as a bit of exotica. We have a slightly oh, rev happy oh, oh. Fiesta ST with another slightly rev happy Fiesta ST who are too scared. I think ST stands for slightly terrified of a puddle. And the fire crew seems to have done their bit. They're heading off for some actual emergencies. That is a broken Audi A7 from last night. It's just been abandoned there on the pavement. The next contender is a DAF, the Arrow XL an XS splash for us. Next up is an old Ford Ranger and what has he got in the back? A bicycle. Yes, the bicycle survived. We have a colourful van with Bumblebee on its bonnet. Bumblebee's being cautious, again with bicycles on the back. Oh, and Baby Yoda on the rear. We next have a Honda Civic who's too scared of the puddle. Go slowly. As long as they keep it slow, they're fine. The AA have done well, they've got the Audi going. A little bit steamy. Here comes APC. I'm glad I'm not on the bridge at the moment. <laughs> I can hear some distant revolutions of a slightly terrified Ford. Oh, are they both going to do it? There we go. The Fiesta ST is falling through the Ford. Red one's next. Nice and slowly. Yes, congratulations. Seeing those two little Fiestas go by, it reminds me of a car show. It's not quite as good as a car show here. It's a long day. If you want a good car show though, next year, 1st of May, Adam Seafest, tickets available, link down below. That's gonna be a good car show to go to. Should someone tell him it's not deep enough to warrant a ladder? You won't need that to get out the Ford. Look, the Mallards are having a go. It's like 13 miles per No, no, even, even the ducks are scared of the Ford. We've got some Rover V8 revolutions from the disco. Yes, you can do it! Quick! As long as you don't get it in your air filter, you'll be fine. Now we'll be able to hear the mighty Rover V8 as it passes through the Ford. Reminiscent of my old TBR. We've got a Jeep doing what Jeeps do best! Okay! <laughs> that, that splashed my camera, let's kind of shake it dry. There's a bike there, he shouldn't come this way. I'm a bit moist now. 
after that the jeeps turning around i'm gonna i'm gonna stay here so i don't get splashed we can see it just not kind of get wet from it so here comes the jeep and now what's going to happen here is his iq is higher than the ford in which he was wading through next we have a nismo duke something a little bit sportier I think the ride height's slightly lower than on the standard boot, so he was a bit more cautious. The Jag had pulled over and examined whether it's possible by watching the other cars go through. She knew it was all right. And now we have a hybrid Toyota Corolla in electric mode, so we'll have no combustion engine to suck in the moisture. I think that's the first electric mode we've had all day. Oh, now here we go. This is more like it. But the Range Rover. <laughs> I stepped away from that one, I'll admit. I didn't want to get too drenched. This Volkswagen came through earlier. <laughs> to examine the depth, and now he's sent it. The H on the grill stands for he's not going to send it. All of the clutch was used. Here we go. Oh my God. I'm running away. <laughs> I had to physically run away from that because I would have got like bathed in it. It's all dripping off the gates. Yeah. Next along is the Jaguar F-Pace. Taking it easy, there is some kind of Mercedes van about to come through. They're normally a bit more ruthless than a privately owned vehicle. Let's see how my theory stands. He's carrying speed. They seem excited. Oh, they went on the brakes just before they hit it. Not bad, not bad. Where's your rubber dinghy? Well, oh, you've got a rubber well, ring! Well, we top that. Oh, you need a pump. No, we don't. Oh, the sprinter's back at speed. Told you they were ruthless. <laughs> I think it was a sprinter. Well, he definitely sprinted. We're going to do a test, see if it floats, and then you can perch on it. All eyes are on you. Of course it floats. So they're going to go upstream to kind of get on the water up there, float down, and hopefully a car shoots through just as they're there to moisten them. There's always been an idea of mine to bring a rubber ring and kind of sit there, tether myself, and film the content from within the Ford, but they're just going to do it for me because I can't be bothered. Ford Ranger. Mediocre splash. They're having difficulties getting in. I think this is it. Hopefully they don't slip off into it. There's a transit that isn't coming. Gently does it. Lower yourself. This is not going to work. If this were... Oh, there's an Audi coming. I don't know what to film. Audi is going to splash. Also, he's in the ring. <laughs> They're not getting two people on it, are they? They haven't blown it up enough for two people. Surely not. How is he going to recover himself if he breaks? Because he is the recovery vehicle. Oh, he's taking it easier. Getting a second person in the ring. They've actually managed it. It's very romantic. I think they've beached it. Yeah, they've beached it already. It's not as deep as it looks. Even with one person, it's beached. In the meantime, we have a Toyota Land Cruiser in green. Decent spec. This is the slowest entrance into the Ford I've seen. Slower than some of the cars that have done it. Oh. Some revolutions. Stand now, yeah, it all makes sense. Welcome back. So, will this rubber ring actually make it? <laughs> the tire is almost halfway here. We've got a three series with the Land Cruiser behind it. Here comes the Land Cruiser. Oh my god, <laughs> right. My legs are moist on the back of them now, and my oh, this is drenched. I think we're into the flow. It's not quite as speedy as I thought it would be. <laughs> He's just floating into the Ford. Everyone is capturing the absolute prime content now. This is this is the best content we've had all day. The rubber ring <laughs> floating through the Ford. It looks peaceful. He's not getting out. Got me to come down. Yeah, I get to paddling. It's majestic. You're grounding out a little bit. Get over. I'll go with all of Are you going under the bridge? Having fun there, Tom. Oh, don't lose my dinghy. <laughs> You're going to need to hurry. There's a Range Rover coming. Um, Uncharted territory is being... under the bridge. Uh, get him over that way. The water's going to ripple in a bit because the Range Rover's coming. Oh, my. 
my god. Are you having fun? Grab it with your feet, bro. You've still got another one to come yet. Someone else is having a go with the rubber ring. The Discovery is back for another splash. I think I'm out of the splash zone. Yeah. You're already wet. You're either wet or you're wet. You might as well go wet. Yeah. Oh, it's back. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Do we now have reverse entry into the Ford? Please stop any car. I can't even stop. <laughs> you got soggy balls, right? Yeah. I can hear something coming. There's a Peugeot coming one way. Oh, no. Oh, he failed. <laughs> we can blame the blue Peugeot. It's a 2008. Subaru's about to use some of its rally heritage, or maybe it's not about to use any of its rally heritage. You're all good, I've just gone through it on a rubber dinghy. I don't think it will reach the bumper, it's going to be fine. I just went through it on that, you're all good. <laughs> you're fine, no, it's, it's only half a foot. A Clio, an anti-social Clio, a careful Clio. Antisocial clear is back to be even more antisocial. Oh my! Wow! They're angry at that. He's found his new favourite hobby. I think an under tray's fallen off. Something's flapping, I think. Another one. Here it goes. Ooh, oh, look, it's our friend again. My legs were just drying off and now they're drenched once more. Now a splash from the Jag. But that was it from part one from today. So part two, we'll see what's going to happen in the afternoon. There's been a few more splashes, so maybe it might get a bit more moist on my legs. So make sure you hit that bell when you subscribe to be notified as to when that video goes live. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for all the updates, highlights and photos that I do at places like this and shows and more. But for now, thanks for watching.